And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome AJ Anthony Joshua. Sponsored by 888 Poker and live here on Sky Sports and live in the United States of America. Live and exclusive on AWE, a wealth of entertainment. All the officials have been appointed by the Women's Boxing Board of Control. So, here we go, introducing to you firstly. Fighting out of the left corner around the black trunk, trimmed with blue and silver. Weighing in at 17 stone, 3 pounds. 9 fight record, 7 wins, 1 inside the scheduled distance and 2 defeats. From Aberdeer, please welcome Dorian Dunn. And across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the black trunks, trimmed with blue. Weighing in at 17 stone, 3 pounds, 9 ounces, he is undefeated. Three contests, three wins, all inside the scheduled distance. Two-time ABA champion, and that magical moment when he won Olympic gold medal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the undefeated AJ Anthony Jordan. Terry O'Connor, six three-minute rounds in the heavyweight division. Well done, Wolf, which is tough at all time. Could be clean when I say break it on it straight away. Shake hands, best of luck to both. It's the heaviest ever, Anthony Joshua. Put on seven pounds since that time we saw him at the York Hall in the middle of November. But, uh, Tony Sims, his trainer there, just obscuring that physique. If he's put seven pounds on, it doesn't show, he's not carrying any excess, that's for sure. Seconds out! Let's see what Dorian Darch will do here, a civil engineer by trade who commutes to Bristol every day. Family man as well. He's quite realistic and honest, he says, no way I'm out boxing Anthony Joshua, I've just got to get inside, try and wrap him up, and see if I can land something. But of course, that will bring its own risks as well. Joshua's already tagged him with the right hand. Well, he's thrown a couple of right hands already, which is good, he's come with a little bit of ambition. I mean, this is a huge night for, for, for darts as well, remember? But, uh, I mean, what a miracle it would be if he could sw uh, swing a result here. Already you can see that jab of Joshua. 
Joshua, Joshua has the big bullseye on his forehead, of course. Everybody knows that if they can be the guy that knocks him off, that's a career-changing moment. That's what Darts will be thinking. Give it a go. Try and have one of those right hands. Joshua too fast for him there, and landing a right hand of his own. Darts felt that one. No, I noticed that the last time we watched Joshua stepping back and throwing the right hand and getting power into it. I mean, that's lovely to watch. He did it again there. I mean, that really takes good timing. Fainted with the right hand there, Joshua. Not, not past two rounds yet, and all three of his opponents had something on the line. They all came with ambition. And he just dispatched them, one, two, three, easy as you like. Taking his time here with Darch. Darch doing a nice job of slipping and getting a decent right hand of his own in. Good bit of work there by the Welshman. He's giving it a go, and that's what we hoped for. I mean, he's breathing heavily already. I think the occasion, the nervous energy he's, he's burning up could probably get to him, but he's giving it a go. He's letting right hands go. So that's what we need to see. Darts looked after by uh, one of the tough guys of British boxing, Steve Sims, the old featherweight, British featherweight champion. He was a hard piece of work. Have established, so that's a bit more like it. I mean, that's what you want, uh, Nick, in a 17 stone heavyweight. You know, a real solid jab. You want the jab to be a weapon. You know, you can break opponents down with it, set them up. Still, the, the most important punch in the book. Joshua did a lot of listening that night. Oh, Darts walked up to a right hand and then got shaken up by the follow-up right hand. One big mistake and he was in. Joshua, and he could finish it here. Darts looking to try and fight his way out of trouble, but Joshua zeroing in. Darts survives. <laughs> There's almost sort of embraces Joshua as if to say, thank you for letting me off the hook. Well, look at the swelling on his face just from that one assault. I thought the referee was going to about to jump in there. It was one bit of mistiming from Darch, and Joshua pounced. And full credit to, to Darch for taking those shots and showing that he still wants to be here, because those would have finished a few heavyweights at this level. Full credit to him, but the facial damage that's been inflicted by that one assault just shows you the power this fellow gets into his punches. As the bell sounded, not a split second too soon. Terry O'Connor did well just uh, staying out of it Corners there. Corners, 10 seconds. And allowed the darts to survive the round. Well done. Seconds out, round two. Well, at the end of October, he stopped Paul Butlin in two. In November, Harvey Kisicek stopped in two. Is it going to be three in a row in the second round for Anthony Joshua? Nottingham was just destroyed by a right hand that opened up a huge gash above the eye. Darch being told not to hold by Terry O'Connor. Damage under the right eye of Darch. And staggered again. This time by a straight left, then caught by another left. He's just so heavy-handed, Joshua. He doesn't oh, have to a terrific right, right hand. hand. Again, Darts did well to take that. Darts is struggling. He's in trouble. And there is an arm. That's, so that's enough, and it is. Because Darts wasn't going to go easy. But he was hurting, and he was hurting badly. And another clinical, brutal performance from Anthony Joshua. Yep, he's just naturally so heavy-handed. He used the jab to good effect. Uh, tonight. It's difficult to say tonight. I, I, I see I've, I've, I've seen improvements every time he's out. It's difficult to find the improvements tonight. Didn't last long enough, if you like. But to his credit, Dorian Darts gave it a real goal. 
couple, a couple of times you could have forgiven him for, for, for bailing out. Well, he didn't quite, even at the end, the referee saved him. So, march forward for Anthony Joshua, but I look forward to when they step him up in class a little bit. And Jim, I've got no complaints about that stoppage. There's one or two boos around the place, but only one thing was going to happen if Terry O'Connor had let that continue, and that is Dorian Darts would have been badly hurt, because he was in real distress there. He took a big punch, his arms dropped down by his side and his legs, you know, they, they did the twist a little bit, so that was a good time to stop. We don't wait until they're bludgeons to the floor. When a fight's not competitive, OK, maybe the match was never competitive, but you know what I mean, if it's not in the least competitive, then a good referee picks the right time to get him out of there. And it was pretty obvious, now that was it, you could see him all over the place. I mean, it wasn't just that punch, it was what they took place leading up to it, the way the first round ended, when he was under heavy pressure, saved by the bell, there was no point whatsoever in allowing this to continue, and that was a good call for referee Terry O'Connor. And, and with no complaints from Darch either, it was only going to end badly, it was just a question of when, and Terry O'Connor performing an act of mercy there. Well, Anthony Joshua, obviously... We can't get overboard, you can't get carried away. But all you can say is, what we've seen so far, we like. We're not seeing many mistakes, we're seeing a lot of positive things. The power, as you say, the timing, the patience, a lot of good things, a lot, of, a lot to like about Anthony Joshua. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Bob Edgeworth has recorded a time of 51 seconds of the second round. Darch in no position to continue, therefore your winner, and still undefeated, taking his record to four contests, four wins, all inside the scheduled distance. Your winner from London, AJ Anthony Joshua! Well, good respect as ever shown by Joshua to his opponent, which is always nice to see. A little handshake for the referee as well, so... Well, he's been out of the ring since the middle of November, Anthony Joshua, and there's a, a souvenir for Dorian Darch. Bet you that one gets framed. But uh, had little shoulder niggles, a little bicep niggle that had kept him out of the ring for a little while, but Joshua back with a bang. Very effective. Again, just amplifying what you went back to earlier, Jim, you know, you wonder how much he learned from that as such, but again, you, can't com you cannot complain about the execution, the job that he just did there, he had his man in trouble, he put him away. Simple as that. 4-0, and all by stoppage. Anthony Joshua rolls on. Anthony, congratulations. Your first fight in four months after a couple of little niggles and injuries. First fight in semi-hostile environment. How do you feel you performed? Oh, man. Not, not too great, not too great. A few things I was noticing in there when I was getting my, uh, when I was getting my jab guy and my one-twos guy. But you know it is. The first round, Roy is warming into the fight and... Uh, I was trying to capitalise on, on some of his weaknesses from early. Um, as the round started going on, as round two come along, I started finding my rhythm. But uh, next fight in, in March, hopefully we'll see a bit of an improvement once again. You established a jab, but you were made to miss once or twice early. Exactly that. And uh, a few things, I'm not going to say all my weaknesses I made in there, in case any of my future opponents are watching, but there's a few things I'm going to get back to the gym and uh, work on. But that's what it's about, uh, analysing what I've done wrong and getting it right for the next one. Motor Eddie Hearn said just before you sat down that maybe it's the time to bring in better sparring. Yeah, that would be great to be fair. Um, if Matchroom could sort it out, <laughs> I would be over the moon with that. You've put on more than half a stone since your last appearance, October the 5th. What's the reason for that? No reason at all. Training, like, I've been training just as hard. But I think that um, when I first uh, turned pro, it was summertime, so it was hot in the gym. I was sweating a lot, obviously. I think as it's come to winter, maybe I'm not losing as much weight and stuff like that. So I'm growing, actually. You know what I mean? I'm not a kid anymore, so I'm going to grow. I'm going to get my man strength and stuff like that. So who knows what I'll end up. But I need to stay athletic, sharp. That's the main thing. Motor Eddie Hearn. He's boxed in Wales now. He's boxed in England. Is Scotland next? Yeah, Scotland's next, March the 1st. And yeah, it's about the experience. That was a whole new environment for Anthony Joshua tonight. He was a bit eager in the first round. It was his full fight. You know, and, um, you know, there's a lot of things we've got to work on. We've got to bring him in some top sparring. It's probably the worst job in the world to spar with Anthony Joshua. So there's not a lot of people putting their hands up. But, you know, fourth fight, um, another great performance onto Glasgow and, and a huge night on a Ricky Burns show. Anthony still unbeaten, still yet to go the distance, but sparring might be crucial, I think. Yeah, interesting information from the fighter and, and the promoter. Glenn, uh, you're a massive fan uh, of Anthony, but is there anything there you saw 
that you weren't happy with? Because, well, as he's saying, he's not happy. Yeah, you've, you've, I mean, obviously, you've got the win in, in terrific style. But the first few fights, I'm looking at him and I'm just saying, what a great prospect. You know, what a great physique. You know, he looks like he could go all the way. Now is the time where you start to look at him as his opponent's trainers. And his opponents would look at him and look at where you can capitalize. And already in, he looks a little bit stiff. And also his jab, it was all single jabs, and he was bringing it back low. And I'd be looking for somebody to, as soon as he brought that jab back, as soon as the jab missed, hit him with the right hand. You know, so there's, he knows he's got a long way to go. He knows it's the beginning of a journey. He also, he missed quite a bit, although look at it, Dodge's face, that probably doesn't yeah. tell you that. Dart showed a, a, a big heart because he still kept coming back trying to put, uh, stick to his game plans, trying to push uh, Anthony back.